begin with breaking news. A man rushed to the hospital after he was struck by that pickup truck just south of the downtown area. And Alexander Cohen just got to Vanderbilt where the victim is being treated this morning. So what's the status? Hey guys, we just learned that he is in stable condition. Police tell me he broke a leg and has a head injury. Take a look at this video from the scene before it cleared. Police set up crime tape around a truck and trailer. After that man trying to cross the street walked into the trailer. Police say the victim didn't see the trailer attached to the pickup truck because it was dark outside. This area on Lafayette Street is right by the staff zone where people report to work early in the morning to find industrial jobs. Police say people who live nearby frequently walk across the street in this area to go to that Z Mart convenience store. The Metro Fire Department came to the scene and paramedics took the victim to Vanderbilt Hospital. A staff sergeant who was on scene this morning tells me that no charges are going to be filed at this point. Obviously, we'll let you know if that changes. Reporting live at Vanderbilt, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. All right, Alexandra, thank you for that update. And happening right now, police are looking for the man who robbed a Walmart at gunpoint in Madison. Officers say he made off with an unknown amount of cash from that Walmart. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis is in the Madison neighborhood this morning. That's where it went down. And do they have any kind of uh, suspect description on this guy, Kimberly? Steve, yes, police are telling us that this suspect is described as a black man. He's in his late 30s and he was wearing all black. But the thing that really sticks out is that he has orange dreads. And they're telling us they are tracking several leads in hopes of finding where this armed robber is. Take a look at these images sent in to us by one of our viewers who was on the scene right after this suspect took off from the scene. Police tell us a man walked into the Walmart on the 2200 block of Gallatin Pike North in Madison and approached customer service. We're told that's when he pulled out a gun and demanded cash. He left the store grabbing the cash and took off in a older Chevy Trailblazer. Again, police are telling us that this armed robber is still on the run this morning. If you have any information that could help police, they would like to hear from you. Call Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. For now, we are live in Madison this morning. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Kimberly, thank you. We expect to learn more about a major drug bust today. Metro Police seizing 47 kilos of cocaine from Jolton yesterday. That's about 100 pounds worth. It has a street value, get this, of 2 million bucks. We do know that five people are in custody in connection with this. As we get more information, we'll update this story. One man is facing attempted murder charges after police say he shot his friend in the stomach at a party. Police arresting Brodus Hall yesterday. They say he shot his friend Saturday night. On 15th Avenue South, Maurice Webster, pictured right there, was rushed to the hospital with the injuries. Hall's being held on a $250,000 bond. And three people up in Clarksville are sentenced in the deadly beating of a woman that they called their house slave. Cynthia Skyper, Derek Vichito, and Alfonso Richardson II, all receiving the maximum sentences for tying up and beating Sheila Beck to death back in 2014. Richardson spending life behind bars. The others have been given 25 years. Some very scary moments for a teenage girl who almost drowned over in Jackson County in a very popular swimming hole. And the guys that jumped in to save this little girl are talking about what happened exclusively with News Channel 5. Uh, well, I'd seen the life jacket and a pair of flip-flops floating in the water, and I looked over and I thought, you know, shouldn't there be a kid? Yeah, there, there should have been. Somehow that kid, though, the little girl, couldn't swim. She slipped out of her jacket and out of sight. Her church group had no idea where she went. Well, the four young guys saw something weird, and they dove in, went to the bottom, and pulled her back to safety. Others then helped revive the little girl. She was conscious. Um, she responded to her name, age, what her mom's cell phone number was. All good signs. The girl was rushed to Vanderbilt. That teen is expected to be all right. It's the seventh rescue at Cummins Falls this year. If you're going to that popular swimming hole, be careful. Happening tonight, the Nashville Symphony is going to put on their first free community concert of the year.
pack a picnic, grab a blanket, head over to Centennial Park at 8 for a night of great music. More free concerts are scheduled throughout the month in Nashville, Brentwood, and Lebanon. Just check our website at newschannel5.com for more information. And tonight is the ninth annual Taste of Gallatin. The Gallatin Chamber of Commerce hosts the event that features some of the best food in town. There's going to be appetizers, entrees, desserts, and drinks offered by about 15 local establishments. The event is from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Pavilion in Triple Creek Park. Tickets are 15 bucks in advance, 20 at the gate. All right, Trevecca students will have a new place to call home very soon. Construction set to begin on a new university-owned apartment complex near the campus in the next few weeks. The flats of Walden Grove will be a 126-unit complex with a pool and a private workout room. It should be open by next August. So students at Trevecca are going to mm -hmm. like that. They will. They're going to like this too. Disney fans, if you're a big fan, Beauty and the Beast is in town. Yeah, listen up. It is. Hurry up. The award-winning smash hit Broadway musical opened at T-Pax Andrew Jackson Hall Tuesday night to rave reviews. Just ask my daughter. The show is only here until Sunday, so get your tickets now. Find out by going to our website, newschannel5.com. Catch it, Beauty and the Beast.